Hi my people, welcome back to my channel. Dennis Duke is my name. Like I promised you last time, I told you I would get these people and get their interview. Yesterday, I didn't manage to go to the airport, but well, as you can see, I have managed to get them today. Here with me is Ezekiel and of course, Esther. How are you guys? Fine, thank you. How was the journey? It was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How are you? I'm good. How was the journey? It was good. How do you feel being back in Uganda? I feel good. Okay. How was the experience in Kenya? It was good. Okay. Yeah. How was the experience, Esther? The experience was very nice. The way they were treating us, the way they were feeding us, it was very wonderful. Okay. Yeah. When did this journey of music start? Uh, East Africa? No, just you. Uh, me, like, really singing, like, singing, like, for real. I started singing when I was seven mm -hmm. years old. How did it start? I used to imitate musicians, like Juliana. Uh, in church, I would sing this song of Kanyimbe in, in church. That's how I started singing growing up in Christ, singing, yeah. Okay. And you? I submitted musicians on TV. Yeah. That's how it started? Yeah. So when did you guys decide to say that, okay, let's now st uh, try and, you know, try out the East Africa Go Talent? Yeah. When did you actually choose to decide and start uh, to, to, to go into the East Africa Go Talent? It's my auntie who was actually on, on uh, media. So she found out that there is East Africa Go Talent and then she registered us. Yeah. So she just registered you without your consent? No, no, no. She talked to us and then she was like, there is something called East Africa Go Talent. You guys should participate. And then I was like, okay, it's fine. You shall. Okay. Then, yeah. So why did you guys choose to be a duo of a brother and sister? Because we find it better if we sing together. Actually, we wanted to sing individual, individually, but uh, the East African guys first asked a video of me alone and him alone. Then they asked a video of both of us, and then they were like, it's better for us to sing together. Okay. Uh, Ezekiel, how do you find singing with your sister? I find it good. Okay. Yeah. Would you want to sing alone at some point? I don't know, but yeah, I would um, like to sing with my sister. Um, yeah, I would like to sing with my sister. Okay. Now you are the winners, the champions of the 2019 East Africa Go Talent. What does that mean to you? It means, uh, I mean, I love, I was like excited and happiness. I really feel good because we have won the East Africa Go Talent competitions. We never expected that. How old are you right now? I'm 11 years old. How did you feel an 11 year old going at a stage to compete with people double your age or even triple your age? Um, I find it weird. Mm -hmm. And uh, um, people, I was very grateful for the people who were voting for me. And I was happy when I heard that I won the competition. I was so happy. How did you feel competing with people who were close to possibly your big sisters or big brothers? I felt scared, but I was brave that at least I would do something. Yeah. What is that one thing that uh, makes you guys want to sing, sing, sing and sing and sing? We just love singing, like so much. Because it's in us, it's natural in us. We love music, so I can never be there without singing. Uh, you s how long did you spend at the East Africa Good Talent? Um, we spent four days. Four days? Yeah. Like the whole time? The whole time? Uh, it started in May. Okay. Early May. So that was May, June, July, August, September, October. Okay. What are those special things that you've able or been able to attain while you're still at the East Africa Good Talent? The things I've been able to attend, mm -hmm. um, singing in church, dancing, yeah. Did you, what about you? Yeah. What are some of those things that you were able to get from the competition? Being confident, because in me, I, I usually have stage fright, but uh, East Africa has told me how to be confident and not to be frightened. So th those are the things that you've gotten out of that? Mm. Okay. Did you at some point feel like you are, your mother, we understand she's an artist and she's very good at what she does. Don't you feel like, okay, you're trying to create some sort of competition between you and her? No. 
No, I'm not. I really don't. I don't, I don't have that in me that I'm having a competition with my mom. I don't know. Like seriously, yeah, that's all. Was how how did your parents uh, take it? Take this uh, when you started singing? Did were they supportive? Yeah, they were supportive. They were supportive. They were supportive. They were supportive. Yeah. How did your parents take it? <laughs> they were happy. <laughs> they were very excited and supportive. They, uh, my auntie talked to my dad and my mom, and they were like, "There's East Africa Get Talent competitions." So my dad and my mom were agreeing, and they were like, "It's okay, let them go." So uh, when we were singing, they were very proud of us. Now you are literally celebrities. I mean, you're celebrities in Uganda, you're celebrities in Kenya, Tanzania. How I understand you're still at school. How are you gonna fit in class? Like, boom, you have this whole thing. Like you, you looked at as big people now. We are planning to change our education. We are planning to do ACT. Um, yeah. Okay. How about you? Uh, me, and I go to school, I'm pretty sure people will scream because I'm in international school, Hannah International. But I'm not pretty sure people will scream for me. And already they did when the first auditions when I went back to school. They were already happy and yeah. What were those difficult moments while you were still at the East Africa Go Talent? during uh, uh voting during the voting we were very scared and also the saying that winner is yeah we were very very scared it was very difficult how about you i beg your pardon how about you what were those scaring moments while you're still at the east africa go turning um <laughs> when they were saying um east africa let's tell you voting and the most 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 scary part was um um, when the consumer said the winner is, mm -hmm. <laughs> and she kept quiet for some moments, uh -huh. I was so scared. I said, you're going to go back home with nothing, oh my God. Mm -hmm. But then they said Ezekiel and Esai jumped. I felt so happy. I felt like, oh, finally heaven is back for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 and if, if, if I may, uh, you know, take it this way, are you looking forward at empowering other young people of your, same, of, of your age? Yeah, uh, people my age, if you have a talent of singing, have a talent of dancing, or any talent that you have, really know that you have it, please don't, let it, don't hide it away. Bring it out. I know you can get scared, but at times if you really bring it out, it can even become bigger than you thought. I understand there's a moment when they separated the two of you guys, each one of you to sing individually. How did it go? It was good. Okay. Yeah. But didn't you feel like uh, you were frightened at some point? No. Okay. How about you, Esther? I was frightened. Of course, I was scared because I thought Gaetan was going to be like, it's a no or something. But then when he told us to sing separately, um, when he told us to sing separately, uh, I was okay with it because we are used to singing alone in the bedroom, so it wasn't so hard. Uh, yeah, considering the fact that we are living in a country where secular music is more popular than the gospel music, would you at some point maybe sing love songs? Would you at some point sing something extra away from uh, singing gospel music? Yeah, if... Um Gospel or secular music is more trending than gospel, but what I care is about God and what am I doing. If I'm singing secular music, I'm not doing good for me, for my age. Yeah. You would not do that. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Esther? Uh, I would love, I would love to sing gospel because I think gospel is everything. Um, there are some people who really sing secular. Because I think that's them, but I would rather sing gospel. Yeah, as long as it does not ruin my reputation. What is the future of your music career? What's the future of your music career? I know to be a big celebrity like my mom was. Okay. How about you? Huh? How about you? What's the future of your music career? I wanna be a celebrity, a musician, and I want to keep on singing music industry to grow and grow up. Okay. I didn't get you. Uh, who inspired you to start singing music? Um, Whitney Houston inspired me so much internationally. Yeah. 
How about you? Uh, it was my mom. I used to say, mom, I want to go sing with you on stage. If you're to do a collaboration in the country, which gospel artist should we look at or which artist are we going to look at soon? If I'm to? If you guys were to do a collaboration with any artist in the country, who would it be? Ah, the big song. Uh, copy, copy Bly? Is it called Copy Bly? Yeah, and many other musicians. Irina Muru, Juliana. Yeah. How about you? My mom. Your mom? Yeah. Okay. Nobody else? Yeah. Okay. You won, uh, maybe if you could sit well, you won about 800, 184 million shillings, Ugandan money. 180 million Ugandan money. Uh, what are you going to do with that money? I'm looking forward to hearing from you. What are you going to do with that money? I'm going to sit down with my parents and see what we can do about it. Mm -hmm. But to me, mind, I'm going to buy something that I wanted to buy um, many years ago, you know? Yeah. And what is that? Catamperias. A what? Catamperias. Catamperias? <laughs> <laughs> What's that? No, okay. Um, it's called a overboard. Yes. <laughs> what about you? Uh, um, I, I want to sit down. We're gonna, of course, we're going to sit down and discuss with my parents and money. But I also want to be a blessing to the vulnerable children. We heard that you guys wanted to start up um, an orphanage, some sort of an orphanage. Yeah. We did. Well, if to her, she wants to be, she wants to be a blessing to vulnerable children. Okay. You're planning to? How do you intend to do that? Like, yeah, I'm just going to sit down and discuss with my parents and auntie to see how she'll help the vulnerable children. Okay. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Like I told you, I have managed to get the two beautiful, beautiful guys, the winners of the East Africa Go Talent Season 1. Yes, the first season that happened last week. Was it last week? No, this week. Last week. It was last week in Kenya. Once again, my name is Dennis Dukwoniala. Thank you so much for uh, joining us. Please subscribe, 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 share, share, like, comment. I'll see you back with another video. Goodbye. Okay, thank you guys.